Hey guys, what's up? It's Sierra, aka Ride and Dirty. So for anyone that is new to the channel, let me explain something real quick. I intentionally lived in my car when I first moved to Las Vegas. I'm originally from Idaho and I currently live in a tiny apartment. But there are still times where I like to share things about when I lived in my vehicle and I did car life. Because let me tell you, it was interesting. Okay, much better. Don't mind the hair. It's late at night. Anyway, so there was a story that was on my mind that I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about. At the time, I was working on Fremont Street. I worked a really crappy shift. I got off probably around 2.45 a.m. And by the time I got out of there and back to my car and drove to where I would go, the area I would go for the night, it was like 3 something in the morning, you know, 3.15, 3.30. Anyways, so I was hot, I was dirty, I was like, but I would freshen up at night just because like I was so exhausted I couldn't make it to the gym. So I would freshen up, sleep for a little bit, and then get up and go to the gym. So I go to a public park um, and there's a sink outside of the restrooms. You don't even have to go inside to use it. So I go there and I'm gonna like brush my teeth and wash my face. And I had been doing this for a couple of minutes. I'm like, okay. You know, and then Put my hair back and I take my glasses off I think I have stuff in it, like my pocket and I have my backpack on because like all my stuff would be there I wouldn't put anything on the ground it's just I would take one sling off or even put it on in the front and just get everything out of there and just kind of go anyway so I'd already like brushed my teeth and all that and I was freshening up and I was washing my face I was literally like this in the sink like and then so I don't have my glasses on and I'm blind I can't see that good and I'm doing this and this dude comes out of the women's side of the bathroom just I'm like but he approached me it's a little bit funny now that it happened so long ago but at the time I was like what the and it was scary so I'm like and it wasn't because he approached me and he talked to me it was because he was like getting into my personal space and this is him watch hey girl what's up what's your name and I was like <sighs> and I can't say a hundred percent for sure but it was my assumption that he was probably under the influence of some type of illegal substances maybe you know anyways so I in my mind decide real quick to just act like nothing and then just try to be cordial and I'm talking to him as I'm trying to like hurry and like finish I kind of cut it short like <laughs> putting water on my face and splashing it like oh gotta go gotta go I was like oh hey I'm Sierra and then he's just like talking the weird stuff what's up Sierra like um what you doing girl hey I know a spot that's good to sleep and the cops don't come and I was like I'm okay you know th that's really nice but thank you you know thank you so much I, I appreciate it like I really do and at this point like I've got like my my wipes and I'm like oh no like uh, I'm good you know He, and as he's talking to me, he sees me cleaning up. He's like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, girl, here, use this soap. I got soap. I, I got the hookup. I'm like, and it's like this little, small, like, tiny, <laughs> nasty, like, little bar soap that, like, looked like it been on the ground a little bit. He's like, here, here, girl, I got you. And then I'm just like, oh, no, 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 I'm cool. Like, I got soap, you know, and I, I pull out my little, um, um, my little travel slice pack with, like, soap in it, like, liquid soap. <laughs> like it was body wash is what it was like no 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 I'm cool <laughs> but he wouldn't leave it alone and he kept like getting closer and he's like oh like do you got a man <laughs> I'm like oh no I'm good you know but I'm not looking like I'm not interested whatever <laughs> at this point I'm trying to pack this stuff up and he's like still talking to me as I'm like visibly you know trying to like leave from there and he's like no 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 really like i got you where are you sleeping at night and like he just kept pressing i was like and then like before i answered that i took a pause and like i realized i'm like double checked i had everything and i was ready to go and i was and i looked at him and i was like i sleep in my car <laughs> and i turned around and i started walking away and as i'm walking away he's like what you got a car and I'm like yep 
and I didn't run, but I, you know, I put a little pep in that step. <laughs> Get in the car, boop, 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 boop. slam the door, lock it, and I dip out. <laughs> and this is my disclaimer, you know, um, I'm not encouraging to do car life, especially where you're stationary in a city like Las Vegas. It's just what I did. It worked for me, and I sincerely thank God for this, that nothing ever happened to me because something easily could and something could still happen to me and nothing has you know and like I said I thank God for that so so much he's the homeboy for real anyways uh that's the story of how I almost got a street boyfriend and somebody tried to make me their street girlfriend <laughs> thanks for watching you guys I just wanted to share that story real quick um your support is absolutely priceless to me thank you